when y'all wanted it. That was the chair. Here it goes. Since I hit 11.30 and the subs. Well, by the way, this is WrestleManiac. I love our thought. <laughs> um, y'all wanted a collection overview, so here we go. Thank y'all so much. I'm over 1,150 subs now. So we're going to get right to it. I'm going to try to go through this fast. But, um, you know how that goes. I don't know how to do uh, quick videos. But, um, I was going to wait till I got another haul. But I figured I'd go ahead and show it um, while I had the time to do so. So, here we go. This is my WWE TNA DVD collection overview. And we're going to start off, guys. By the way, a little, uh, little psycho action there for you. My buddy Jordan let me borrow the Lost series. I'm going to watch that. That has nothing to do with wrestling, Chad. Stay focused. WWE 13. Starting it off, we've got, because Stone Cold said so, we've got Stone Cold Steve Austin what? We've got Stone Cold Truth, which is a really good documentary. It's about an hour long. But it's, it, it lets you know about some stuff that's not included in the Blu-ray documentary. Got uh, The Legacy of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Just made my top 20 match compilations. Check that video out after this one. Uh, but yeah, great set of matches on there. We have the best documentary of all time. Stone Cold Steve Austin, the bottom line on the most popular superstar. Three disc Blu-ray set. You've got to get this, guys, especially the Blu-ray with all the extras. One of my favorite DVDs of all time. It wasn't in the top 25 match comps or the top 20 docs because it's not really either. It's just it kind of is its own st own set, really. And um, it's the Ultimate Ric Flair collection. Great collection of matches and all that stuff, documentary style. This is a full-on doc, which I love. It's the Nature Boy Ric Flair, the definitive collection. Outstanding set there. We got Ric Flair and the Four Horsemen. Another great documentary. Got my second favorite wrestler of all time. Got Shawn Michaels from The Vault, which was pretty good. It was an early comp. It was only like six or seven matches, but it, it was still pretty good. Then you've got Boyhood Dream, which I enjoyed because it covers his entire 96 championship, you know, run. And you see all the matches there. You can get this dirt cheap. Got one of my favorite docs again is Shawn Michaels' uh, Heartbreak and Triumph. You're going to buy this for the doc. Really, the matches are just pretty good, but kind of random, actually. One of the best match compilations of all time, Shawn Michaels' My Journey. Definitely go pick this up, guys. That's just some of the stars he's got matches with on this set. Next we have Greatest Rivalries with Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart. The DVD, the reason why I still have this is because the disc one is so scratched that it can't, McKay's can't, you know, take it. It still plays, it's just too scratched, so I just kept it. Then you've got the same you know, Greatest Rivalry, Shawn and Bret. This is the Blu-ray, which has got the infamous... Montreal screw job match from Survivor Series 97 on the Blu-ray exclusive. Definitely need to pick that up, guys. It's a must-have. We've got Bret Hart. Best there is, best there was, best there ever will be. Outstanding documentary and great match selection. Another great set is Bret Hart Dungeon Collection. Be sure to pick this up on Blu-ray due to the 90 minutes extra matches if you can. Really great set as well. We've got Heart and Soul, Hart Family Anthology. Really cool documentary about the entire family. So many of them. And you've got WWF Attitude Collection, The Rock, Know Your Role. We've got The Rock, People's Champ there. I actually like these, these rock sets here. Got Rock, Just Bring It. This is the two-disc special edition here. Really enjoyed that one. We've got The Rock, Most Electrifying Man in Sports Entertainment. Another one of my favorite match comps. 19 matches. Great stuff. And you've got The Rock, Epic Journey of Dwayne Johnson. This is the Blu-ray set here. Really solid documentary. Not a lot of Blu-ray extras. The matches are just alright, but you're buying that for the documentary. We've got John Cena, Word Life. 
Really enjoyed this. This is back in 03 when Cena was doing the whole rapping gimmick. Really enjoyed it. And we've got John Cena, My Life. Pretty good documentary. Um, wish he would have been involved. I'm, I'm, I'm expecting to get another Cena set probably next year. Me and Blackford was talking about that. We've got John Cena Experience. Really enjoyed this documentary. He's the hardest working man in sports entertainment, guys. And there's damn near 20 matches on here as well. We've got Triple H The Game, which is a really good documentary. I can't wait for the Kingdom Come set to come out this week. Uh, I said this week, this uh, next couple months. And what I'm actually watching right now is Triple H That Damn Good. Really rare for some reason. It's not that great. It's just a few matches, but it's it's cool for what it is. We've got Triple H, King of Kings, which is a really one of my favorite uh, match comps there. We've got 13 matches on there, including the infamous hog pin match, which is terrible. New and Improved DX, solid set. A lot of people don't like it, but I do. Shut your mouth. The Generation X, sealed. I got this for 12 bucks at McKay's, and it goes for about that used. So I'm just going to leave it sealed since I've already seen the documentary on YouTube. We've got Kane, The Twisted Disturbed Life. This is a three-disc set, and luckily when I bought mine, it came in a three-disc case instead of that terrible digipack. Then we've got Kane Journey to Hell, which is only five matches. Um, it was an FYE exclusive that came out when uh, that movie, he, uh, See No Evil movie came out, I believe. We've got one of the best WWE releases of all time, Undertaker, He Buries Them Alive. Just kidding. Just bought this for Quang. We've got Undertaker, This Is My Yard. This is the Koch Canadian release. So scratched that it won't play, but I got my money back and ended up getting another one off eBay, just waiting for it to come in. And it's actually the U.S. release, but I just want to keep this in the collection. Might be able to bring it back to life, you never know. Tombstone, History of the Undertaker, three-disc set. 21 matches, guys, with video packages from all of them. You know, all the great matches that he had. Outstanding set there. First three-disc set from WWE. We've got Undertaker, Deadliest Matches, which was a solid set of all of his gimmick matches, including the body bag match with Ultimate Warrior. Um, then we got Undertaker, The Streak, 20-0, three-disc Blu-ray set. All 20 WrestleMania matches in Blu-ray quality. Got CM Punk, Best in the World, my second favorite documentary of all time. Outstanding documentary and match compilation, guys. And you got all the extra moments on Blu-ray there. Got Edge, Decade of Decadence, which didn't make my top 25, but it's still enjoyable. I still enjoy this. Two dozen matches. This is a Canadian release, too. Great one to have. We've got You Think You Know Me, The Story of Edge, two-disc Blu-ray set. Really, really good documentary. And, of course, a couple extra matches and stories with the Blu-ray. we got Brock Lesnar, Here Comes the Pain, Collector's Edition, two-disc Blu-ray set. Great, great, great match comp, guys. And with the Blu-ray, you get five extra matches. we got Chris Jericho. We got Breaking the Code, Behind the Walls of Chris Jericho. Y'all know how great this documentary is. So many great matches. They just wish it could have got a Blu-ray release, but I think this is really before they were doing all that. We got Randy Orton, Evolution of a Predator, which is a pretty solid documentary. Um, could have been better, but it was still good. A lot of good matches on there. Blu-ray extras. I can't remember what the Blu-ray extras are, but got Batista, I Walk Alone, three-disc set. Um, good documentary, but I'm not a big fan of Batista's work uh, match-wise, but he's got some pretty good matches on there. You got Twist of Fate, Matt and Jeff Hardy story. I enjoy these documentaries. You know, they're two disc. One's uh, Matt and one's Jeff. Just wish they could have been longer, but still a good set there. And then you got a great match comp in my eyes. You got Jeff Hardy, My Life, My Rules. This actually almost made my top 25, but it didn't quite make it, but um, just a great set. Kind of picked up where the other documentary left off there. You got Andre the Giant. Uh, it is what it is. Wish it could have been a better documentary or something, but it's really cheap. And you got the one disc version of the self destruction Ultimate Warrior, aka the burial of Ultimate Warrior. He gets buried by everybody. I, the only WWE release that they've done this to a superstar. Um, I need to get that two disc version. And I, th I really do think he's going to end up getting a documentary now that he's back cool with the WWE. I was just talking to Blackford about that. Then we got um, Hollywood Hulk Hogan, Hulk Still Rules, two disc set. Good match comp, and uh, the closest thing we'll get to a documentary from Hogan. 
10 minute calls coming up. Mountain Louie. All right. Then you got Hulk Hogan, the Ultimate Anthology. Now this is the four disker. The bonus disc of matches, including his match with Earthquake. Still need to get that four disc uh, Hogan Knows Best edition. You got Hulk Hogan Unreleased Collector Series. This is five bucks anywhere you go. It's not not too great, but there's a couple of cool matches on there. Uh, then you got Macho Madness, the Randy Savage Ultimate Collection, which I love this set. Um, so many great matches. WrestleMania 3 match versus Steamboat is one of my favorite all-time matches. We got Big Show, Giants World, which I really enjoy this. My nephews love it. Great match comp. Um, and also, solid documentary. It's only like 59 minutes long. But it, I thought it was good, though. Then we got WWF Attitude Collection, the f three faces of Foley. It's all right. We got Mick Foley, Hard Knocks, Cheap Pops, which I really enjoyed this documentary there. Answered my questions to why him and Al Snow hated each other. You got Mick Foley, uh, Greatest Hits and Misses, Hardcore Edition. Love this set. Three discs of just outstanding matches. We got For All Mankind, The Life and Career of Mick Foley. One of my favorite documentaries. Matches wasn't all that great, but he's got so many good matches on the other sets. Then you got Dust, Dust De Road, The American's Ring. Uh... Solid documentary, good match comp. Uh, wish the documentary could have been a little bit better, but it was still good. And you got Born to Controversy, the Roddy Piper story. Great documentary. I've watched this several times. Still got to get that four disc version. Another one of my favorite docs. You've got Jake the Snake Roberts, um, Pick Your Poison. Really, really sad story, but really good set though. Road Warriors, Life and Death, the most dominant tag team in wrestling history. Really good documentary there. Another sad one. Yet another sad one. You got Brian Pillman, Loose Cannon. Solid set. Great matches on there. It's a shame what happened to old, old Flying Brian. Yet another one. You got Mr. Perfect, Life and Times. Documentary was good. Um, really wish they'd have made it a three disc and gave Perfect an extra disc of matches because he had so many great matches. You got Ricky Steamboat, The Life Story of the Dragon. Okay documentary, but the match is incredible. And you got 20 Years Too Soon, Superstar Billy Graham Story. Really interesting documentary. Um, I haven't watched any of the matches on it. don't care to, but it's a good documentary. And you got John Morrison, Rockstar. I liked, I liked watching Morrison's matches. I mean, he's wish he'd come back. You got Trish Stratus, 100% Stratisfaction Guaranteed. Pretty good set. Um, I don't have the FYE edition because I don't want to spend a hundred bucks on it. World's Greatest Wrestling Managers. Love this one. Bobby the Brain Heenan, my favorite manager of all time. Then you got Before They Were Superstars, Volume 1. You got um, Stacey Keebler, Kurt Angle, Agent Christian, <laughs> Spike Dudley, and Lita. Um, looks like Billy Gunn, The Hardys, Bradshaw, William Regal, and Molly Holly. Still got to get Volume 2. We got McMahon, the two-disc set. Almost made my top 20 docs, but just didn't quite get there. I'm not sure if it's a work or a shoot, shoot, honestly, but good set. And you got Eddie Guerrero, Cheating, Death, Stealing Life, the Eddie Guerrero story. Really loved that documentary. And you got a great match comp, Viva La Raza, The Legacy of Eddie Guerrero. Love this set. Rest in peace, Eddie. Then you got Hard Knocks, the Chris Benoit story, which I absolutely love this set. Um, it's a shame how that how he ended his life and his family's life. It's just terrible. But he's still one of the best wrestlers there ever was. We got Rey Mysterio, 619. You see, I got that for $1.95 in McKay's. I enjoyed it, though. One of the best match comps ever made. Rey Mysterio, biggest little man. 29 matches. Love it. And you got Rey Mysterio, Life of a Masked Man. Not that great. Um, it's still pretty good though. We got Rob Van Dam, one of a kind. Love this set. It's one of my favorites. And we got Greatest Wrestling Stars of the 80s minus Macho Man. Love that set. Greatest Stars of the 90s, another great set. Good matches on these sets too. Greatest Stars of the 21st Century, which I will be getting on Blu-ray soon. 
Uh, and we got Legends of Wrestling Collection. The first three volumes here looks like Flair and or Flair and Slaughter, Lawler and Junkyard, and Heat Seekers. That's still sealed. I got it for eight dollars. Got Allied Powers, World's Greatest Tag Teams. Love it, with the exception of the hosting. Uh, World's Wrestling's Highest Flyers. Love, enjoyed this set as well, guys. Really entertaining wrestling on that on that set. You got Bloodbath, Wrestling's Most Incredible Steel Cage Matches. It's a good set. You got Satan's Prison, Anthology of the Elimination Chamber. Love that set too. Didn't make my top 25, uh, just because a lot of the matches are similar. Um, and it was kind of a toss up between that and Hell in a Cell, which of course I went with Hell in a Cell, but love that set. Then we got Greatest Hell in a Cell Matches of All Time. Another great set. They need to make a volume two soon. We got Ladder Match Volume One. Loved it. So many great matches on there. We got Ladder Match 2, Crash and Burn, which isn't as good as the first, but it, this is the Blu ray set with extra matches. But it's still a good set. I love watching ladder matches. And one that I honestly almost put in my top 25, but I would have gotten so much flack for it. But I love this set, guys. Some of the matches shouldn't have been on there, but Falls Count Anywhere, two disc Blu ray set. And if you get the Blu ray, you get to watch Mick Foley fight a bunch of Santa Claus. A bunch of Santa Clauses. So that's awesome. Then we've got the Best of the King of the Ring two-disc Blu-ray set. Outstanding match comp. I can't stand King Booker hosting it, but still. Spectacular Legacy of the AWA. Awesome documentary. A lot of, a lot of bitching and moaning, though, from those guys. Then you got uh, Triumph and Tragedy World Class Championship Wrestling. Another great set. Very tragic. Rest in peace to all the Von Erics. It's terrible. You got um, Best of Saturday Night's Main Event, one of my favorite match comps of all time. We got The Rise and Fall of ECW, my, my, one of my favorite documentaries ever created. It should be everybody's. Um, I love it. Oh, so I'll throw this in there too. Just picked it up. I'll show it in my next review, but Forever Hardcore the documentary which kind of picks up where the rise and fall left off this is kind of like a lot of those other wrestlers that wasn't on rise and falls side of the story then we've got extreme rules ecw two disc match comp good matches on there same with this one you got blood sport most violent ecw matches it was just vince making money off of ecw in my eyes you got ecw unreleased volume one blu-ray set outstanding as well as ECW Unreleased Volume 2 Blu-ray set. Y'all definitely need to go out and get those. We've got the Top 25 Rivalries, um, which I didn't make in my docs or my match comps because it didn't really fall in either one. But I love this set. Great countdown. Matches are not that good, but great countdown. We've got 50 Greatest Finishing Moves in WWE History Blu-ray set. Really enjoyed this countdown. Um, and for some reason, they're saying this is like a huge error by the... 3D Blu-ray case, which I've opened mine, so it's not worth anything, I guess, but I thought that was pretty crazy. Then we've got OMG Top 50 Mo Incidents in Wrestling History. I like this countdown. I just couldn't stand the music in between. Y'all know what I'm talking about. True Story of WrestleMania, which I'm so mad that I left this off of my list. It was on my list. I just forgot to show it. Great, great, great documentary as well as great compilation of WrestleMania matches. I think there's 14 matches on the Blu-ray. And you've got Best of In Your House. Great, great match comp as well. We've got the History of the World Heavyweight Championship. Really good documentary and a lot of good matches on there. As well as the History of the WWE Championship. Another great match comp. Should have had a documentary with it. Still need to get the Intercontinental one too. And we've got the best pay-per-view matches of 2009, 2010. Mainly 2009 there. We've got best pay-per-view matches of 2011. Both of those are two-disc Blu-ray sets with extra matches. And best pay-per-view matches of 2012. DVD set. Still got to get the Blu-ray. Got the top 50 superstars of all time. Countdown is so jacked up. Y'all know that, though. Got Raw, the beginning. Best of Seasons 1 and 2. Got that for $10. Love that set. Wish they'd keep, keep that going. Maybe make us Best of Seasons 3 and 4 and so on. Got Raw 10th Anniversary. Love that award ceremony there. 
the best of raw 15th anniversary lenticular version still need to get that four disc best of smackdown 10 year anniversary lenticular version 3d cover there another 10 second pause coming up here Had to pay the bills there, Mountain Dew there. Best of SmackDown versus Raw 2008 Blu-ray set, which is fairly rare. Shout out to Rocker 2525 for doing a trade for me. We got the Best of Raw 2009. Love these Best of Raw sets and SmackDown sets here. And Best of SmackDown 2009-2010 Blu-ray. Best of Raw 2010 Blu-ray. Tons of great matches. Love this one. Best of Raw and SmackDown 2011. Three disc set. 13 hours of stuff. Best of Raw and SmackDown 2012. Two disc Blu-ray set. Raw 100. Top 100 moments in Monday Night Raw history. This is the two disc Blu-ray set with the six extra moments and the round table discussion, which is totally worth getting the Blu-ray. Got the Attitude Collection. Documentary was very, very, very rushed to me, but I enjoyed it as well as all the great moments. Got the Monday Night War, which I really enjoy this. Didn't make my top 20, but still is one of my favorites, one of the greats. Another one of my favorites, the Rise and Fall of WCW. Absolutely love this set, guys. It's all so good. And my all-time favorite match compilation to this day, Clash of Champions Best Of, Blu-ray. I want to get that Best Buy exclusive DVD version. It's got some different matches on it. But yeah, it's my favorite. So I should tell you something. Starcade, the Essential Collection. Solid documentary with this. As well as a top 25 countdown of the best matches from Starcade, which I thought they did a great job of picking. And we've got Best of WCW Nitro, Volume 1. Didn't make my top 25, but I still enjoy it. And this was one that was a letdown. Best of WCW Nitro Volume 2, Blu-ray set. You got 90 minutes extra matches. Got NWO, The Revolution, two-disc Blu-ray, which the documentary really let me down, but the matches were good. And the roundtable discussion, Blu-ray exclusive is better than the documentary. We got Best of War Games, most notorious matches, two-disc Blu-ray set. Love this. Just a shame the best matches they had wasn't great quality, but uh, still an outstanding set. And that is my, oh, just got this one in, looks like. Um, the Hardy Boys, Leap of Faith, which I'll be showing in my next Mania episode. I just got this yesterday in the mail, so that'll add to that. So that would, you know, that would obviously go there. And we're now going to move on to pay-per-views, which I'm going to go through fairly quickly. Um, we've got SummerSlam 99 which had the infamous Stone Cold Triple H Mankind Triple Threat match with Jesse the Body as the ref there. You got SummerSlam 2000, another great pay-per-view. You got Invasion 2001, which is one of my favorite pay-per-views. had the awesome RVD uh, Jeff Hardy match on it. So many other great matches, too. Got SummerSlam 2001, another one with The Rock racing the cover there. Got Unforgiven 2001 with heel Stone Cold Steve Austin got in, uh, No Mercy 2001 Kurt Angle on the cover there that had um, Stone Cold RVD and Kurt Angle triple threat match love that match got Unforgiven 2002 Lesnar on the cover there this was his year had No Mercy 2002 with the infamous Lesnar and Taker Hell in a Cell match had Rebellion 2002 again Lesnar on the cover there that's from the UK one, another one of my favorite pay-per-views, Survivor Series 2002, with the very first Elimination Chamber match, which was the best to me. You had Armageddon 2002 that had uh, Shawn Michaels Triple H two out of three falls match and Big Show and Kurt Angle. Let this big six foot two, three hundred pound behemoth of a man get into the floor for a sec, guys. Give me just a sec. All right, here we go. Botchamaniac, do you see that? Royal Rumble 2003 with the infamous 
Kurt Angle Chris Benoit match, one of the best matches of all time. And then one of the worst matches of all time, Triple H and Scott Steiner. Then we've got 2003, we've got No Way Out 2003 there. Rock Hogan 2, which could not compare to the first. Stone Cold in a squash match against Eric Bischoff. And then another terrible match between Triple H and Scott Steiner. I've got every match from, or every pay-per-view from 03 here. Got WrestleMania 19 with the infamous street fight between Hogan and McMahon. You had Jericho and Michaels, a great match. Rock and Austin, great match. Lesnar and Angle. Just a great, one of my favorite WrestleManias ever. Got Backlash 03 with Rock and Goldberg there. And you got Judgment Day 03. They had the stretcher match with Big Show and Lesnar. And then you had Triple H and Kevin Nash there. And we got Insurrection 2003 that had a Triple H versus Kevin Nash in a street fight. That was another UK pay-per-view, I believe, there. Damn it. And we got Bad Blood 2003, which had a Hell in a Cell match, Triple H, Kevin Nash, not all that great. We got Vengeance 03, Lesnar, Big Show, and Kurt Angle, Triple Threat there. SummerSlam 03, that had that outstanding Elimination Chamber match where Goldberg destroyed everyone. Should have let him win that one. Unforgiven 2003 there with Kane Grace in the cover. And No Mercy 03 had the uh, that biker chain match between Undertaker and Lesnar. Got Survivor Series 03 that had that Shane McMahon and Kane ambulance match that was awesome. And to round out the 03s you had Armageddon 03 which is the night of evolution there. 2004, I've got the whole set here. I've got 2004 Royal Rumble. Have an extra one of these if anybody wants to trade. Cena there on the, his first cover. Got No Way Out 2004 with Eddie Guerrero when he won the belt from Brock Lesnar. Great match. Only good match on that card to me. WrestleMania 20, one of my favorite sets in my collection. Love this set. Love the little 90 minute dock and all that good stuff. got a Hall of Fame 2004 induction ceremony. Enjoyed that. Got Backlash 04. Chris Benoit, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Triple Threat match. This is when they were pushing Benoit, which I loved it. Judgment Day 04. Eh. Eddie Guerrero, JBL, WWE title match. 04 was not as great of a year as the others here. Got Bad Blood 04. Shawn Michaels, Triple H, extremely long Hell in a Cell match. Great American Bash 04, which is a terrible pay-per-view in my eyes. Bull rope match with JBL and Rey Mysterio. Had Vengeance 04 with Orton on the cover. Had Chris Benoit and Triple H. World Heavyweight title match there. Unforgiven 04 with yet another Kane cover. Love that cover. SummerSlam 04 that had JBL and Undertaker as well as Benoit and Orton. Great SummerSlam. And that's a cover that they've changed, actually, I believe. Got No Mercy 04 with good old JBL on the cover. Loved his whole title run. He was great. And the very first Taboo Tuesday 2004, which I really love these pay-per-views. You had another Triple H, Shawn Michaels match. I could watch those guys wrestle all day. Survivor Series 04. Another all that great. JBL and Booker T was the main match there. Armageddon 04 with Big Show on the cover. One of his only covers there. You got JBL, Undertaker, Guerrero and Booker and Fatal 4 away there. So that's the 2004s there. Now we're going to move along to the 2005s here. We've got New Year's Revolution 2005 that had the all, that was from Puerto Rico. Had the awesome Elimination Chamber match. Let's set that out for now. Royal Rumble 05 that had Pretty good rumble, but the highlight was Vince McMahon tearing both of his quads, getting in the ring. No Way Out 05. JBL there on the cover. The first and only steel cage, bar bar barbed wire steel cage match. Very underrated WrestleMania. You got WrestleMania 21. They had the first lat uh, Money in the Bank match, which was awesome. Had Backlash 05. Had Hogan and Michaels versus uh, Muhammad Hassan and Davari. Got Judgment Day 05 with the infamous I Quit match between John Cena and JBL. One of my favorite matches. And one of my favorite pay-per-views ever. ECW One Night Stand 2005. Y'all know how good that pay-per-view is. I miss ECW. Vengeance 05. Not a great feud between these guys. They had a Hell in a Cell uh, match there. 
Great American Bash 05, forgettable pay-per-view. SummerSlam 05, the, you know, of course, Hogan and Michaels, and Guerrero and Mysterio ladder match that was incredible. Unforgiven 05, you had a good solid match between Cena and Angle there. No Mercy 05, which was Eddie Guerrero's last pay-per-view match versus Batista. 2005, had another Angle and uh, Shawn Michaels and Cena triple threat. On a sale or still cage, I can't remember. So that's the 2005s there. Got the 2006s, which I have all those. We've got New Year's Revolution 2006, where Edge cashes in on Cena. Royal Rumble 2006, Mysterio wins that Rumble. No Way Out 2006, which had a solid match between Angle and Undertaker there. And we had a WrestleMania 22, which had Cena and Triple H, the main event there. And Backlash 06 with um, the, uh, the McMahons versus Shawn Michaels and God. So totally ridiculous. Judgment Day 2006, great colleagues on the cover. That's all I'm going to say about that. ECW One Night Stand 2006, outstanding. Great, great, great heat in that match that Cena had with RVD. They were throwing the the shirt. He'd throw the shirt out and they'd throw it back. It was crazy. It's in Indian style for the first time since kindergarten. Um, got Vengeance 2006 there. Uh, had RVD and Edge. They had, a great, they had a great match there. Great American Bash 06. They just couldn't get these pay-per-views right. You had Mysterio, King Booker, World Heavyweight title match. Like he intentionally made him bad or something. SummerSlam 06 there. Had Edge and Cena. WWE title match there. And also Sabu and Big Show, which was kind of random. Unforgiven 06 that had that epic TLC match with Cena and Edge. You got No Mercy 06. That was the, the, the you had a four way match with Batista, Bobby Lashley, Finley, and Booker T. That's all I'm going to say there, guys. 06 was a rough year. Cyber Sunday 06 that had the triple threat between Cena and Big Show and Booker there. And last but not least, no, just kidding. You got Survivor Series 06, which had um, King Booker and Batista World Heavyweight. That's not all, guys. Just got this in. ECW December to Dismember, the worst pay-per-view of all time. This is the 2006. Still sealed. They only highlight in two matches, which was an extreme Elimination Chamber match, which wasn't good. But a good match between Hardy's and Eminem. I will say that. So there's my 06s. So I've got all of 03, 04, 05, and 06. 07, I'm missing three, I believe. I'm sorry, we've got Armageddon 06. Forgot to left that one off there. Terrible cover. Had uh, Batista and Cena versus Booker and Finley. 2007, got New Year's Revolution 07 where Triple H destroys his knee. Got a Royal Rumble 2007. Had Cena and Umaga. Uh, last man standing. And No Way Out 2007. Had Batista and Undertaker versus Cena and Michaels there. Got an extra one of those if anybody wants to trade. And I've got WrestleMania 23. Three disc edition and a collector's 10. Still got to get all. I'm going to go back and get all these 10s they released there. Got Backlash 2007. That had Michaels, Cena, Edge, and Orton. Four way match for the WWE title there. Judgment Day 2007. Look at Vince McMahon on the cover there. Classic. This was the year of Lashley, which I didn't like. One Night Stand 07. Just did not like Bobby Lashley there. Vengeance 2007. Cena, Lashley, Foley, Orton, and Booker. WWE Championship Challenge there. SummerSlam 2007. Triple H on the cover. Yeah. Cena and Orton. Not a great SummerSlam, honestly. He had Unforgiven 07 with Cena and Orton. And that terrible triple threat match between Great Khali, Batista, and Rey Mysterio. Like, what were they thinking there? Goodness gracious, this hurts. And we got Survivor Series 2007 with Edge 
and a chainsaw on the cover. Royal Rumble 2008, The Return of John Cena. That also had Jeff Hardy and um, Randy Orton, which was a good match. 2008, I'm missing one, I believe. Got No Way Out 2008 with Jeff Hardy on the cover. Love that cover there. I wish Hardy would come back to WWE. Judgment Day 08, this one's not a good cover. Triple H and Orton, still cage match. One Night Stand, Extreme Rules 2008 there. Jeff Hardy and Umaga, which was pretty crazy. Undertaker and Edge, Triple H and Orton again. Night of Champions 2008, sorry guys. Trying to hurry him get through these. Great American Bash 08, again, not good. SummerSlam 08, love that cover. Golly, one of my favorites. Unforgiven 2008 with Batista on the cover there. Um, Batista, Mysterio, Kane, JBL, Chris Jericho. Scramble match there for the title. Cyber Sunday 2008 with CM Punk on the cover, which I'm not even sure if he's even on the pay-per-view. It's kind of weird. No Mercy 2008. With Hardy on the cover. Really like that cover. You had um, Jeff Hardy and Triple H for the WWE title. Survivor Series 08, which I hate when they spoil who's going to win. Obviously, you know Cena wins that. And we got Armageddon 2008 with Jericho on the cover, one of the greatest covers. Royal Rumble 2009, which of course Orton won. No Way Out 2009. Vladimir Kozlov was on the cover of that one, so I don't want to say anything else. WrestleMania 25, Blu-ray. Outstanding WrestleMania. Michaels and Undertaker, one of the best matches ever. Backlash 09, missing two or three from this year too, Orton on the cover. Extreme Rules 09 with Ray Ray there. SummerSlam 09, great, great pay-per-view cover. Pay-per-view is all right. Hell in a Cell 2009 there with Taker. Got Survivor Series 09 with DX and Fatigues there. TLC 2009, really good pay-per-view in my eyes. Royal Rumble 2010 that I believe Edge won that one. Elimination Chamber 2010. Enjoyed that one. WrestleMania 26. Another Shawn Michaels Undertaker epic match there. Extreme Rules 2010 that will scare the heck out of you. Look at that Sheamus cover. Over the Limit 2010. I have all the 2010s here, guys. Bragging Rights is on the way. It's the only one that I don't have yet, but I already won it. Fatal 4-Way 2010. Not a good pay-per-view. So they only had one of them. Money in the Bank 2010. Love the Money in the Bank pay-per-views. That was a great one. SummerSlam 2010 Blu-ray. I'm going to eventually get all the Blu-rays for these. Night of Champions 2010 with Orton there. Uh, Hell in a Cell 2010 with Taker. Survivor Series 2010 there with Orton and Barrett. And Cena was the referee in that match. TLC 2010 with Ray Ray on the cover. And here we go, guys. We're moving along. We got Royal Rumble 2011. Blu-ray DVD combo de doo -dah there. Great Rumble. Elimination Chamber Blu-ray DVD combo de doo -dah. It's 2011. Got all these. Summer, WrestleMania 27. Blu-ray. Undertaker Triple H. Epic. Extreme Rules 2011 with Cena. Blu-ray there. Over the Limit 2011. Need to get the Blu-rays for these two. Capital Punishment 2011, which had Cena and R-Truth. Not a good pay-per-view. Money in the Bank 2011, one of the best pay-per-views of all time. SummerSlam 2011 with Cena and Punk there. Triple H, the guest referee, I believe. Night of Champions 2011 with Cena and Del Rio. Hell in a Cell 2011 there with Cena. Vengeance 2011 with Big Show and Mark Henry destroying the ring. Survivor Series 11 with Cena and Rock tagging. TLC 11 with CM Punk and the Ice Cream Bar there. And then we're going on to 2012, which I have this whole set. We got Royal Rumble 2012, just an all right pay-per-view. Elimination Chamber 2012, enjoyed this. I'm going to be doing a 2012 review soon of all the pay-per-views. WrestleMania 28, great WrestleMania. Extreme Rules 2012. Over the Limit 2012, not a good cover, and even worse cover here, No Way Out 2012. Like this year, though, Money in the Bank 2012. 
SummerSlam 2012, so we're ready for 2013 this week. Night of Champions 2012, Punk there. Hell in a Cell 2012, terrible pay-per-view. Survivor Series 2012, and TLC 2012, where Ziggler beats Cena. In 2013, I have all these so far. We've got Royal Rumble 2013, Blu-ray, Great Rumble. Elimination Chamber 2013. WrestleMania 2089, not a good WrestleMania to me. Extreme Rules 2013, I don't know why the Blu-ray was not out. Payback 2013, and I had to go back and buy Money in the Bank 2013. One, two, and three. I don't really need four because I'm going to be getting all of them individually, so... We got SummerSlam Anthology Volume 1, which was 88 to 92. And SummerSlam Anthology Volume 2, which was 93 to 97. And I'm going to have to get Volume 3 just for SummerSlam 98, which sucks. But Roll Rumble, complete anthology. I only have Volumes 1 and 2 in here, though. Um, still need to get 3 and 4. Actually, I just need 3. TNA, we're going to zoom through these guys because I'm running out of time here. We got Victory Road 2004. Turning Point 2004 here. We've got uh, Final Resolution 2005. Destination X 2005. Against All Odds 2005. Uh, Turning Point 2005. Sorry, it's a little dark over here. Genesis 05. Lockdown 05. Des uh, Vote for Glory 05. Against All Odds 06. My camera might cut off, guys. Hard Justice 06. If it does, I'm sorry. Lockdown 06 is still getting posted. <laughs> Final Resolution 06. Uh, Sacrifice 06. Slammiversary 5 from 2007. Best of 2007 still sealed. Bound for Glory 4 from 2008. Destination X 2009. Against All Odds 2009, Slammiversary 2010, Sacrifice 2010, No Surrender 2012, Ultimate X Collection, which I found out is extremely rare, so glad to have picked that up, Best of the Bloodiest Brawls Volume 1, Best of the Bloodiest Brawls Scars and Stitches, Best of the Asylum Years, 50 Greatest Moments, as well as Sting, Return of an Icon was in there somehow. Best of the X Division 2 Disc Volume 1, Best of the X Division Volume 2, Best of Jeff Hardy Enigma Volume 1, Mick Foley Hardcore Legend, still sealed, Best of Christopher Daniels, Jeff Jarrett, King of the Mountain 4 Disc, Knocked Out, Best of the uh, TNA Knockouts, still sealed, and then my ROH, the only one I have so far, Final Battle 2010. And New Jack Hardcore, the documentary. These are just randoms here. Beyond the Mat, Springside Special Edition. And my first shoot interview, we got Jeff Hardy for 2003. And, um, yeah, guys, that's it. That is my collection. Like, comment, subscribe. I love y'all. Love, peace, and hair grease.